connected consumer. Hi, I'm Rosie Alpino Sarah. And I'm Chris White. And we are the hosts of Parks Associates podcast, The Connected Consumer. Here we are with Paul Erickson, uh, Director of Research at Parks Associates. Hi, Paul. Hi, glad to be here. <laughs> we are at Connection Summit 2022 at CES, and we are so excited to be a part of this. Um, Paul, can you um, explain more on your experience at CES Innovations Award? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the first year I was selected to be one of the judges for the annual CES Innovation Awards. Uh, very honored to do so, of course. And I thought it was a very interesting kind of pre-show look at all the different products that are coming uh, forth to market and the different vendors that are looking to, uh, to basically vie for attention uh, at the show and the products that they're using to basically prove uh, the level to which they're innovating and creating and uh, providing innovative solutions to the industry. And I found it a very rewarding experience and a great uh, preview to some of the things that we're seeing throughout this week. Amazing. Chris? Yeah, so Paul, you've also been on the show floor, roving around talking to people. Um, you're more focused on connected uh, entertainment, so you talk to you tend to talk to different companies. I mean, I've been, I've been curious to know who you've been talking to today that has uh, either a big announcement that's really impressed you or some sort of new startup that you came across that you didn't know about necessarily that you see as uh, promising now that you've had a chance with them. Um, you know, part of the benefit of this being a little bit lightly attended in terms of a CES is like we really can potentially get a lot of time with the people in the booth. So what, what have you learned? Who, who do you like that you've talked to so far? Uh, well, I have to say based on uh, who I've talked to so far and I think based on the, this time I've spent, uh, at least for my particular subject matter area, like, like you mentioned, uh, connected devices and entertainment, I think some of the most interesting uh, observations I've made that, that speak to trends in the industry have been uh, talking to Samsung and getting a look at some of the things they're doing with their newer smart TVs because uh, as Parks Associates research has found, the smart TV is increasingly a centerpiece for consuming entertainment in the home and uh, the, the companies that control the platforms of smart TVs, right, the operating system, uh, they really are in charge of that experience including monetizing the advertising and measurement data that comes from the TV whether it's gaming, watching commercials, or you know, watching terrestrial TV or streaming. And so it's interesting to see someone as, like Samsung, the biggest TV manufacturer in the world, uh, moving to include things like cloud gaming, moving to uh, organize their interface in such a way where it's content first and very personalized no matter where that content is coming from. And these are larger trends we see throughout the industry where we're really looking at super aggregation of content. We're looking at bringing uh, more value-added services like cloud gaming to the fore, and services like GeForce Now and Nvidia. Or I'm sorry, Nvidia GeForce Now, and Google Stadia, uh, which have been, you know, at, at the cusp of uh, mainstream acceptance. You know, is this along with LG featuring them as well? Is this the thing that gets cloud gaming uh, into mainstream adoption? The fact that it's now being included on smart TVs, right? So it's mm -hmm. interesting to see these greater trends. Uh, in effect, and I think Samsung is the bas biggest example uh, because they're such a prominent consumer electronics manufacturer. You know, they show the most potential to push many of these trends into the mainstream. Right, they got a, they have a big pipe to take advantage of. And also this is a reminder everyone, so Paul's done some great work about cloud gaming, so definitely check that out um, also on Park's uh, website. Yeah, we'll also add it to the podcast notes, so check that out. Um, but yeah, this is our, uh, not hopefully last uh, CES recap, but uh, thank you for listening in and watching us on YouTube. And if you have any feedback or leave us a review, um, please feel free to tweet at us at Parks Associates um, or just check us out on the main podcast platforms. Plus Paul's Twitter too. Yes, of course. Oh my gosh, thank, <laughs> thank you for you, saying thank you, that. Paul. Thank you, thank Paul, you. for being here. And um, tell us where we can find you, your Twitter handle and all of that. Yeah, so you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Paul Erickson, of course, uh, you know, with Parks Associates and on Twitter, you can find me at Paul Erickson AV. Perfect. Check him out. Thanks, Chris, for joining us in this recap episode. And if you have any questions, let us know. Connected consumer.